guys, Shofu here with another Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be against Vash95, I believe, is her username. I'm not really quite sure, uh, but her in-game name is Vanessa, so I'm just going to say Vanessa. Uh, this is a battle I had on my stream yesterday, so if you guys want to... Uh, I usually upload a video when I'm streaming, uh, but you guys can just check um, pr pretty much every day between... I want to say four and seven. I should start streaming between those times, but uh, uh, PST that is uh, not Eastern. But anyways, uh, this battle does not go my way per se. Um, her team is very solid, very 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 solid, um, and it has an Aegislash on it. And Aegislash by itself is a complete monster. It's easily one of the best Pokemon in the game as of right now, and you guys will see why later on. Um, so. She's going to lead off with her Venusaur, which kind of threw me off right at the beginning, especially since I lit off with my Tyranitar, and I knew, knew, knew she would be going for the Sleep Powder first turn, and I didn't really want my Tyranitar to go to sleep just yet, and looking back, I probably should have, but the thing is, my Tyranitar is holding the Tyranitite, and I didn't want to waste a Mega Evolution just because I didn't want to, uh, just because I wanted to stay in and get put to sleep. So what I'm going to do is send out my Gengar, but looking back at it, I definitely should have let my Tyranitar go to sleep because this Gengar could have been very useful later on. Uh, had not, <laughs> had what happened not have happened later on in the battle. Uh, either way, I get put to sleep. My next move probably wasn't the most thought out. Um, I thought she might want to go for, I don't know, Leech Seed or something like that. So I actually switch out to my Talonflame here. But looking back at it once again, hindsight is 2020. There was no way she was going to stay in against my Gengar. It... Venusaur cannot touch Gengar whatsoever, so I, I made a huge mistake and I went out to my Talon Fling. I, once again, I'm not quite sure why I thought she would stay in there, but I'm just, I guess I'm dumb, I don't know. So she has a Garchomp out, Garchomp is uh, most likely going to be carrying a Rock type move, which is why I'm going to switch the hell out of here. Uh, Garchomp with a Rock type move is now going to be more common because of Togekiss. Togekiss completely counters Garchomp otherwise, so it's going to be more common for these things to carry Rock type moves. Now even though she's most likely going to be carrying a Rock type move, I'm going to switch into my Gyarados just because I want to get that uh, minus attack on this Garchomp. And uh, she actually hits me with a Stone Edge and I can clearly see that it has a Life Orb. So this is not looking good for me whatsoever. Um, she's gonna finish me off with a Dragon Claw. So the score is 5-6 right now, her, and she has a Pokemon asleep on my side. Uh, but despite all that, the match is not over yet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and send out my Tyranitar. So now I'm actually gonna uh, Mega Evolve into Tyrana, um, Mega Tyranitar here. And I'm going to do that just so I can take the Earthquake because uh, Mega Tyranitar does have a gigantic defense stat and it's it's really insane. You guys are gonna see how well I take this Earthquake. Even though it is at minus attack, she still does have that Life Orb and I take it pretty well. It does only about 60%. Um, I'm pretty sure my, uh, my Tyranitar otherwise would have taken like 90%, maybe around that. But either way, I'm gonna take the hit with the Mega Evolution and then I'm gonna use Crunch, and it doesn't do anywhere near as much as I thought it would. It did a lot, but it didn't do it didn't do enough. It's not enough, Tyranitar. It's not enough. Um, so she's gonna take me out with another earthquake. She's about to die, so she's probably just gonna stay in as I send out my Bankai. And um, I'm gonna be forced to switch into attack mode here. <laughs> attack mode. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm gonna be forced to switch into Blade form just to uh, go for the Shadow Sneak and take this thing out. Once again, I probably should have gone out to my Talonflame there just to go for the priority um, Grey Bird. Yes, uh, Talonflame has priority flying moves with the ability Gale Wings, so I probably should have done that. But uh, she sends out a shiny, <laughs> a shiny Aegislash, and you guys are going to see why I said that this is one of the best Pokemon in the entire game. It's one of the best Pokemon in the entire game because of all the mind games that can be played with it. It's so... Everything is 50-50. You guys are going to see... Um, it has that move King Shield, which if you touch the Pokemon, you lose um, two stages of attack. And because of that, I'm very, very cautious on what I do in this matchup. And it usually comes back to bite me. With Aegislash, you have to play uh, aggressive. You have to play recklessly. And she's doing just that. Not only that, but she was already in Shield form, which means that she would have been able to take my plus two Shadow Sneak, regardless of if she used King Shield or not. And I was already in blade form, which means I would have had to take go back into a uh, shield form in order to take a plus two shadow sneak from her, which is why I went for the um, the king shield there. But she predicted that and went for the swords dance, so I lost that prediction game, 50-50 chance of winning or losing. I lost, and now I'm gonna get my entire team swept by this freaking monster, shadow sneak, <laughs> shadow sneak just sneaking up behind all my Pokemon and destroying them. It, it's there's nothing I can do at this point because. 
She already has plus four. That thing has a massive attack stat. Nothing on my team can take that hit, and it's just over. There's nothing I can do, and uh, I didn't I, I didn't rage quit or anything. I just forfeited because there was really no point in continuing the battle because I all I had left was my Talon Flame and my Gengar. Both are gonna get one hit KO by a plus four Shadow Sneak from that freaking monster. Aegislash is way too good. I don't think it'll be banned to Ubers or anything, but it's really, really good. It's a very, very good Pokemon. Not only that, she has a shiny one, and it seems to be, um, I mean, it seems to have good stats and everything. I don't know how she did that. But anyways, that's a good game, Vanessa. <laughs> uh, once again, I got popped. Damn, I got destroyed. Um, I have a few more battles that I'm going to be uploading this week uh, where I do very good things with my... Uh, my talent flame. I kind of want to show that off because I did spend a lot, uh, a long time breeding it, and I want to uh, show you guys how proud I am of it because it's a really good Pokemon. It, it has um, Gale Wings, like I said earlier. Priority Flying Moves, Priority Roost, Priority Brave Bird, Priority Acrobatics. It's really good. Uh, I run bulk up on mine with a lot of HP EVs. But anyways, that's for another time. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'm out of here. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back with another battle probably tomorrow. See ya.